Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Fugu and you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we will do a tutorial for parsing personal data such as profiles using regular expressions. Remember all the code will be provided on my GitHub which is Mr. Fugu Data Science. If you like this and would like to see any of my other videos feel free at Mr. Fugu Data Science. Don't forget if you subscribe turn on your notification bell. Now let's get started. The regular uh, regular expression module documentation uh, is here. I provided the link so you can get kind of a more clear and in-depth uh, knowledge of what's going on, as well as these two useful tables with tips and tricks uh, so you can use as reference material, which are adapted from the online documentation. We will need the uh, import regular expressions, pandas, faker as well as date time. I created uh, 500 fake user profiles where I used a random seed uh, uh, enabling me to uh, replicate these data. Now I converted it into a data frame so we could get an idea of what's going on. The last video we used this data and we parsed addresses. Today we will be parsing birthday, email address, name, username, website, as well as job title, company, social security number. I had to create fake data because you can't exactly put real data online. Now, I extracted the columns that I needed to use. Take a look at that. This is all the relevant information I just described. Then we take that data and we need to uh, change the formatting for the birthday. And you say, well, what's wrong with the birthday format? Well, oh, I took it out. Okay, so we can look at OO real quick. So here's the birthday format. While it's correct uh, notation in most countries, uh, where I live we have a slightly different notation which isn't wrong, it's just different. So I changed it into what I'm more familiar with which is month, day, year. And we use the method of dot strf time that allows me to change this, uh, the string uh, formatting. So after doing that I had to create a new column into my data frame where I just adjusted the uh, the dates for the birthdays. Then I took my data frame, I took all of the values and converted it into a list. From there I wanted to flatten everything out, iterate through my new list data frame well, what does that look like? Okay, well, our list that we're taking is this. Oh, forgot because it's a uh, list now, not data frame. So here's what our data looks like. So we have this is the first person right here. Occupation, person's name, social, the websites they're affiliated with, username. Uh, I don't remember the difference between these and then their email and, and birthday. Okay, fine. So we're creating our flat list where we're separating by, uh, we're joining everything uh, based, joining all the strings based on a comma. And we're uh, doing that for each one of these. But I had to separate this because it's nested and it'll give you an error. Uh, and that's your uh, web pages at that index. So after we create that, we need to, from there, we could say, what does that flat look like anyway? Here's our flat list. So what I'm doing is I'm taking everything that's inside of this taking everything that's inside of this and flattening it out so it's just one big old string. 
and I'm doing that because I want to just pretend that if we had data that we found from somewhere and it contained all of our user information and it was one string of characters separated by commas, uh, how do we parse that data? All right, so I'm trying to break this data down and make it more user friendly for if we're in the real world and found this or extracted this from somewhere. So here's our first our first user that we took and we made into a string and so forth, right? So we take our flattened users and then we have to iterate through this and what's going on with that? Well, you are taking this and you're joining everything together and here's the order that is going. So now we have the websites for the person, we have their occupation, their birthday, their email, their name, their username, social, I don't remember what this is, maybe company name. And it has that for all the people that we're dealing with. Okay, perfect. So we move on from there. And here's just an example of what one of the entries looks like. I want to start parsing this data. So I take one of the small entries uh, from uh, above and I extracted it and I also added a few caveats where I said let me just make up some website without a HTTP one that has just HTTP without the S and then just some John Joyce and I just threw that in there because what I wanted to do is check are my regular expressions only evaluating email addresses that occur at the beginning of a sentence at the beginning of a string or not that's why I threw some stuff at the end. So then I said, okay, what happens if I just use this? So if I just use this, it looks correct, but it is not. And let me show you. So this looks correct where I'm taking an HTTP and I have the question mark and said, well, it could have HTTP or it could have HTTP and something else before the colon. And then I take this slash capital S and I want to find at least one of these. What's this capital S doing? It's looking for everything except for, uh, except for a space, I think, is what's going on. And if you notice, you say, oh, okay, I got all of these email addresses, but oh, well, dang it, I got this science junk, got some person named John, but I got these other email addresses. I'm like, oh, man, that's close, but that's not exactly what I want. So then the next thing I say, okay, well, let's look for the HTTP or the HTTPS. Okay, cool. So I throw that into a character set and I say, well, is it HTTP or HTTPS? Then um, it's optional for me to have the literal uh, forward slashes here. And those are literal and their options. And then I say, okay, let's look for at least one of these. Or let's also look forward and find us a www dot. And that's also optional. And then I put the OR operator and said, okay, and we don't have to have the www dot. And let's look for that at least one time. And then from there, anything that happens after that could be an alphanumeric as well as a hyphen underscore a period or a forward slash. Then we have, we we're looking for at least one of those. And then after that, we can have our uh, lowercase a to z. Okay, that's fine. So we can look at what that looks like real quick. And there we are. So we have our HTTP, HTTPS. We have it with the uh, four slashes, but it does not have www dot. This one does. This one does not. Okay, perfect. We know we got something going. We're, we're on a roll. Now, Let's find just our www dot friend. So let's look for something. Let um, we're forward looking here, where we're looking for the www dots, and then we're trying to say, okay, let's look for everything except the new line, and this uh, we need we don't need it to be there or not for for this, and then we got our trusty old find it at least once, and then we look for the rest of the web page with this. So you got your good old W. -W. Um, get 
what the heck is going on here? Get W W. Oh. Alrighty. Why did that not work? Q Q. That should work. Um. Hold on here. Let's verify this then. Okay, that does work. So I'm missing something here. But I forgot. This, this, plus this. Always get to backtrack and kind of figure out what's going on, what you missed. Oh. Hold on here. Okay, what is going on here? Let's fix this thing. Okay, so that one works. Okay, perfect, there, there. Now we got this to work where we're saying, all right, let's look for our www dot, and it doesn't need to occur. Look for it at least one time, and then find the rest of the address, perfect. Then we, then we just took the above two, put them together, separated them with an ant or operator, and that's how that works. Good, we're on a roll. Here's a printout of that. Uh, then I just verified it against my other data to make sure the data from above is actually working. Then we look at our social security numbers. And I took my little toy example where I just took an actual, uh, the first actual entry that happened in our list and then I added an extra fake social security number into that to see if I'm just looking at the beginning of my uh, beginning of my string or not so we're saying this look for all digits where we're having a sequence of three character set where we look for a, a separation by hyphen then two digits hyphen and then and then four digits and we say perfect so I found this one and the one at the end so that was pretty easy then we have the email address the email address has a lot going on these are actually quite hard to parse and each situation is going to be different and if you look online through stack overflow you're going to find out so here we have the option of having lowercase, uppercase letters. We could have a hyphen. We could have an underscore. We could have a period. Um, I put a plus, and then we're looking for. Uh, you could also have digits, and then it's separated by a at sign, and then from there you can have your A to Z, uh, capital and lowercase, and then you could have a uh, dash in there, and a period. Um, and then also you can add this in there too because this can occur at the end. You can look at what your data looks like and split everything into individual strings and that's what I did here to get an idea of how, how the layout is for what's coming up next. Then I did similar to the social security now our uh, birthdays where you can have one or two digits here that's represented with this then an actual literal uh, separator of your forward slash then your one or two characters again or digits then your literal and then uh, your four digits so that was easy to find then from there you say okay I have everything now I, I still have to find these last bits if you're looking through this, here's our string that we're parsing through that needs to be split, which is done above. And we found everything except for your personal name, your username, your company name, and then this will be your uh, occupation title. That's the last four things we're looking for. So you have to do an if statement and take everything into account and then anything that's left over ends up being this. It works when I separate it 
and look at one entry within my larger list of list but when I tried to uh, do the same thing and iterate through the complete list I was having issues with it not working so that's a note for anyone who tries to use this uh, so then from here if you're able to get to this point you could parse this out really easily because it's already string split as, that, as long as you reference from the original data what each column means and then you could just pull these out and do indexing from there uh, I decided to loop through our larger list which is this whole thing instead of just one entry and find the web page find the birthday find the email social security social security the only thing that changed for the coding is now we're looking for name and we're looking for occupation and I set these up because I was having issues getting this to work on the whole data set so from there all of this code is the same from above just expand it to the full data we can look at the names and see how this worked out so it looks like we're close on the names but if you notice something there's some discrepancies for instance this found the person's actual name but it also found the company that they worked for because this capitalization so you'd have to do further parsing on this to get all the names of the people such as the occupations there are issues it could find part it could find this which is an occupation but then this is somebody's company name here we are we're having the same type of issue this finds the person's occupation but what happens if you have an occupation let's just one word instead of two words which are, are uh, capitalized so I broke down what what this looks like from above so you can get an idea of the printout to make sure everything's working correctly so all the uh, lines here are working correctly except this one needs further parsing and so does occupation and the occupation needs a little more tweaking on the regular expression so I wanted to break down here one of the examples the first example so you can get an idea of what's really going on here where, where there's some hiccups so for instance psychotherapist one word starts with capitalization but you have this scientist the scientist is actually two words but it was split here because of the way I set up the regular expression because I was only looking for a grouping let's starting with any type of uh, capital or lowercase letters and then it cut off somebody's um, company and then their personal name so there's tweaking that needs to be done to that to make make this better uh, that'll be the end of this video but I hope that this is just a primer to get you started get you thinking about how you could parse uh, personal data I hope that this uh, provided some utility and you like this video throw a like if possible and subscribe turn on your notification bells if you subscribe so you can see uh, new content coming out a few times per week thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye